Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to an exciting matchup between your Benedictine Bengals and the Euclid Panthers. Coming into this game, the Bengals are 2-16, but they very, very easily can turn around here. Going against the Panthers, 6-9. My name's Emerson White, and we're just under a minute now before tip-off between these two competitive basketball teams. Last time the Bengals were in action, they fell to St. Ignatius. And it was a bit of a rough game, it seemed like, on the score card, losing by 15. But when you watch the game, the Bengals were really in the game the entire time. They just kind of let it slip away there, starting in the third. And then eventually, Ignatius ran away with it in the fourth. Bengals put up a good fight. I believe if they put up the fight that they did against Ignatius, they can come away with this win with ease. Starters for the Bengals today, Pat Lloyd, Antoine Walker, Antoine Livingston, Trayvon Stewart, and Tegan Fischel. And here's the jump. Bengals win the toss. But then there's a foul right away by the Wild, by the Panthers, excuse me, on number four, James Lipscomb. Bengals inbound the ball in the backcourt. Here comes Tuan. He gets ripped up top, and it is stolen by the Panthers. Now the ball's just on the ground. Guys fighting for it. Now Pat Lloyd comes up with the ball for the Bengals. Now Trey pushing it. Trey driving, going, trying to go coast to coast. Slips, and they call it travel. That's something Trey has been struggling with. We saw a lot of it in the Ignatius game. Sliding around on the court getting called for a lot of traveling violations. <laughs> Bengals in a 2-3 zone here, as we saw against Ignatius last game. Euclid just swinging it around, not trying to rush anything against the zone. A lot of ball movement by the Panthers. They put up a shot. He misses it in and out. Rebounded by Pat Lloyd. And then a foul on the Panthers. That is number 10, Dion Russell for the Panthers. His first team second foul of the quarter. Here comes Twan for the Bengals. Twan makes a move, gets past his man, goes to the rack and finishes it. Antoine Livingston with the first bucket of the game for your Bengals. U.S. driving, or excuse me, not U.S., Euclid driving, shoots a shot, gets his own rebound, but then is fouled on the second attempt by Pat Lloyd, his first, team's first of the quarter. He'll be shooting two shots from the line. First shot is up, hits it. There will be Euclid's first points of the game. Coming from James Lipsom. Second one is up, misses it off the back rim, rebounded by Trey. Trey gives it to Twan in the backcourt. Now Twan's bringing it up for the Bengals. Hits Tegan on the wing, Tegan for three, drills it. Tegan Fischel with the three. Now you could try to push it early. Now they slow it down, swing it across court. Loses it a little bit, defended by Antoine. You could swing it around. Now Nell has the ball up top, makes a move on Antoine, pull up jumper, misses off the left side, rebounded by Euclid. Picks up his dribble, hit out of bounds, last touch by your Bengals. Euclid ball under their own basket. Inbounding is James for the Panthers. Swinging it around. 11 thought about a shot. This time just pulls it out. Swings it to zero. Zero tries to find something. Trying to make a move. Doesn't seem to have anything. Quick kicks it to the corner. Now number four driving. Double dribble on number four. James Lipsom. Good defensive possession there by the Bengals. Bengals will get the ball back now. Up, 
Swings it to Tegan. Tegan with a deep three, misses it. Hit around, and those last touch by number zero, King Duke of the Panthers. So it'll be. Never mind, it's Euclid's ball. I thought it was last touch by Euclid. So Euclid ball, swings it to the corner. King has it on the wooden. Swinging it around, 15. Tayshawn has it, gives it back to King. King thought about a three, now dribbling. Swings it up top. King gets it back in the corner, shoots the three, drills it. King Duke with the three for the Panthers. Now Livingston has it. Livingston picks up the dribble, gets double team. Now Trey has it on top. Trey going to his right, gives it to Livingston, gives it to Tegan. Tegan driving, dumps it down to Trey. Trey goes up the layup, misses it, rebounded by Pat Lloyd. Pat Lloyd gets blocked, ball just on the ground, and they eventually call a foul on the Panthers. Fouls on number 25 of Euclid. Excuse me, 15. No, zero, I'm sorry. Twan driving, puts up a layup, finishes through the contact, and one. Antoine Walker with the bucket. Now entering the game for the Bengals, Owen Slemp for Trey Stewart. Number two, Daryl Akins also entering the game for the Euclid Panthers. Walker with the point after. Rattles on the rim, rebounded by Euclid. Now Euclid has numbers, they're pushing it. 11 going coast to coast, finishes. Nell Harrison going coast to coast there. Now Bengals pass it ahead. Walker has it, gives it to Tegan. Tegan thought about a three, picks up his dribble. Tries to get it to Twan, but it's stolen by 11. Nell Harrison with another finish on the right side. Now you, Euclid takes their first lead of the game. Owen has it at half court. Owen gives it to Twan. Now the Bengals get across half court. Twan trying to get something to happen. Twan swings it to Tegan in the corner. Tegan driving, pull up mid range, hits it. Gives the Bengals the lead right back, Tegan Fischel. Duke with it, swings it to the corner. Daryl driving, Daryl goes up the layup, misses, gets his own rebound and finishes it. Tegan has it on the wing. Tegan driving on the left, two steps, puts up a wild shot, misses it, rebounded by Euclid. Oh, and Slim drops the ground, now Euclid has numbers once again. 11 pulls up the midi. Misses it, Duke with the rebound. Duke dribbles it out, gives it to Daryl up top. Daryl with a really deep three, misses it off the right iron. And it'll be Bengals ball. Amari Avzal and Angelo Cisa entering the game for Tegan and Pat Lloyd. This is Amari's first game back in a while, seen to be de dealing with a bit of an injury. They give it to him, or they try to give it to him in the post, but it was tipped. Euclid arguing that Owen touched it last after the ball was tipped, but officials stay Bengals ball under their own basket. They give it to Twan in the corner. Twan has it. Gives it to Ange up top. Ange picks up his dribble, gives it to Livingston. Livingston with a really deep three, misses it off the backboard. Owen with the rebound. Owen tries to get it to Antoine, but it's stolen. Number one, Colby Orr has it. Orr driving. Goes up, no, dumps it off, tried to dump it off to number 11, Nell Harrison. But out of bounds, Bengals ball, Dooney entering the game now for Twan. Walker has it. Tries to get it to Amari, but it's tipped. He gets it back though. Walker crossover. Gets ripped by number 11, 11 driving, loses it, gets it back, swings it to Duke in the corner. Duke driving, Duke dumps it down to Nell, or Daryl, excuse me, he misses it, gets his own rebound, misses it again, Bengals ball. Ange has it now. 
Ange pushing the break, gives it to Dooney on the wing. Right back to Ange, Ange goes to the lane and misses it though. Last touch by Amari, Panthers wall. Trey re-entering the game now for Walker. Luka driving, goes up with the right, loses it. They call a foul though. Two shots for the line for number four, James Lipscomb. Fouls number on, on number 11, Owen Slemp. His first, team's second of the quarter. First shot is up, hits it. Nine eleven, your score now with 119 left to go in the first quarter. Second shot is up, he hits it. U.S. showing press, or not U.S., excuse me, Euclid showing press, and Dooney just throws it away. Euclid's ball. Euclid trying to inbound it. Now they get it. Duke driving. Duke picks up his dribble. Stolen by Ange, but they get it right back. Tipped by Amari. Amari has it. Amari gives it to Ange. Up court. Ange has it. Ange picks up his dribble. Dumps it down to Amari. Amari goes up at the right, finishes through the contact, and one. Amari Absol. Bengals have been missing him a lot with the injury. Glad to have him back, bringing that dominant force on the rebounding end especially, and finishing through contact is what he does best. Now here's Amari for the point after. Misses it off the backboard. Rebounded by Trey, though. Trey loses it. Euclid has the ball. Euclid driving. Goes up with the right. Gets blocked out of bounds by Trey. Still Euclid's ball blocked by Trayvon Stewart. Number 10, Deion Russell entering the game for Euclid. They give it to number one up top. He's driving. Pull up mid-range. Misses it. Rebounded by Trey. Trey trying to get across half court, but throws it away. Stolen by Colby Orr. Colby Orr with the move and finishes on the right side. Trey gets it to Amari. Amari crossover at half court. Splits the double, driving. Goes up with the right. Finishes through the contact again. And one. Amari Absol. Back to back possessions with back to back and ones. This time just needs to knock down the free throw for the point after. Tegan enters the game for Trey, and Livingston enters the game for Dooney. Amari with the point after, hits it. Now we had a tie game with 27 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Euclid waiting for the last shot here. Ten seconds now, driving, kicks it to the corner, thought about a three, loses it, not out of bounds, this time just throws it out of bounds. So it'll be Bengals ball with 4.2 seconds left to go in the first quarter of play. Ange to inbound it. Ange inbounds it to Amari, but it's hit out of bounds by Euclid. Still Bengals ball, now 2.4 seconds left in the first quarter. Twana inbound it. Tegan has it. Hit a buzzer beater last week. This time way off with the buzzer beater. And then we got a tie game going into the second quarter. Amari with five points early and same with Tegan. They have over half of the Bengals points. Those two have been big, big impacts for the team this year. Now, as you see on your screen, this is Bengals' road to the 
excuse me, to the Barron Cup last year. Bengals won the Barron Cup for hockey. This is round two. They defeated Olmstead Falls on Thursday with a score of eight to one. Looking for the Bengals to advance, go try and win the Barron Cup once again. Euclid ball coming out of the first quarter. Bengals still in that 2-3 zone. Swings it to the corner, puts up a contested three, misses it off the back run. Excuse me, front run. Jump ball was rebounded by number 15, Tayshawn Hill, but they got tied up on the ground. Now it's Bengals ball. Juan driving with an easy right-handed layup, finishes, get right past his man to give the Bengals the lead right back. Bengals started off very strong, and then Euclid started to come back. Meanwhile, two just out of three, four, Euclid missed it. Amari with the rebound, tried to pass it to head to Tegan, but threw it too far ahead of him. Back to Euclid's ball, a big problem for the Bengals all year, not just today. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers have been killing them. They'll have a fast break, They'll turn, they can turn it over, and just like that, Euclid will get it right back. It's been a huge problem, but it's very fixable for this team. Duke has it, he's driving, pull up mid-range, misses it, rebounded by Pat Lloyd. Gives it to Ange, Ange gives it to Livingston. Livingston with a step back three, misses it in and out, Ange with the rebound. Ange almost got tied up, but he got out of it, gives it to Twan, Twan driving, Twan loses it. Gives it to Ange. Ange driving. He dumps it down to Twan. Foul, though. Good pass from Ange, but there was a foul before he passed it to Ange. No free throw since he passed the ball, so it'll be Bengals' ball out of bounds. Foul is on number 10 of Euclid. Dion, or excuse me, 15, Tayshawn Hill. Ange driving. Goes up with a floater. Misses it off the left side of the rim. Euclid trying to push it now. Number one has it. They call a foul on Ange. So Euclid's ball under their own basket. They give it up top. Colby has it. Colby with the jab step driving. Goes up with the right. Finishes. Ties the game right back up. Livingston has it, gives it to Ange, sets him a screen. Now Ange has it. Twan has it. Bengals just moving it around between the legs behind the back now. Gives it to Tegan. Tegan with a really deep three. Misses it in and out. Now Euclid's pushing it. Colby leading the way. Goes up with a wild layup. Misses it, but does get fouled. So he'll be shooting two shots from the line. Colby Orr. Foul is on number 24, Tegan Fischel for the Bengals. His first, team second of the quarter. First shot for Colby is in. Here's the second shot. Hits it again. Now Euclid has the lead by two. Swan has it up, pushing it up for the Bengals. Swan swings it to Dooney. Dooney gets it back, puts up a three, misses it way off, but rebounded by Amari. Amari dumps it down, tries to get it down to Dooney on a cutter. Officials say last touch by Dooney, but both officials discussing it, and it is Bengals ball. Amari to take it out. Twan with a wide open three. Hits it now. Gives the Bengals a lead right back. 
15 has it, driving baseline, wild shot, misses off the side of the backboard, and he tackles Amarius right after he missed the shot. All laughs, though, nothing, nothing intentional. Now Trey enters the game for Amari. Bengals up one, 19-18, 4.40 left in the second quarter. Dooney driving on the right side. They call a foul before the shot, though. Foul on number 11 of Euclid, Nell Harrison. Antoine Walker coming into the game for the Bengals. As TJ Livingston's at exiting the game. Dooney inbounds it to Pat Lloyd. Pat Lloyd sets Dooney a screen. Dooney gets it back, puts up a three, hits it now. Now the Bengals are getting, extending their lead up four now with 4.20 left to go in the second quarter. Duke has it, shoots the three, misses it. They call an over the back foul on number one, Colby Orr, and try to go for the rebound. Colby came from behind. Euclid's fourth foul of the quarter, their ninth foul of the game. Excuse me, their 10th foul of the game. Picking up a lot of fouls here just in the first half. Walker has it. Hits Trey on cutter, cutting Trey. And Trey goes up on the finish, but gets fouled by Tayshawn Hill. That'll be Euclid's fifth foul of the second quarter. That is Tayshawn Hill's third foul of the game just in the first half. Trey will be shooting two. First shot is up and he hits it. Trayvon with the second shot. Puts it up, hits it. Now Bengals up six. Euclid pushing it, Colby has it. Tries to, do, tries to make the move on Dooney, loses his dribble, stolen by Trey. Now Trey has a one-on-one, -on -one. he's drawing on the left side, misses the left-handed layup. And they call a foul on number two, Angelo Sisa. Euclid has it. Colby with the ball. Swings it across court to Darrell. Darrell driving. Stolen, passed it right to Dooney. Dooney slows it down. Dooney thought about a three. Now he's driving. Puts up a floater and hits it. Bengals up eight now. Two has it. Two. Darrell puts up a three. Misses off the back rim. Bengals just let it go out of bounds. So it'll be Bengals ball again. Here the Bengals have a chance to extend the lead to double digits. Here comes 15, Tayshawn Hill entering the game. He's gotta be careful though, he's got three fouls early. Technical foul on Euclid. Number two, Daryl Akins went to the bench while he was subbed in the game and then came right back onto the court. Can't do that, so that's a technical. Dooney will have two shots. First shot is up and he hits it. Bengals up nine. Dooney with the second shot. Rattles around the rim, but eventually falls. Now the Bengals up 10. They give it to Dooney in the backcourt. Dribble handoff to Angelo. Angelo has it. He's driving on the right side. Fade away, hits it. Angelo Cesar with the fade away bucket. Sends the Bengals lead to 12. 
Bengals in that 2-3 zone. They make number one pick up his dribble. Now two left wide open, but he's fouled by Pat Lloyd going up for the layup. He'll be shooting two from the line. That's Pat Lloyd's second foul of the game, fourth foul of the from the team in the quarter. First shot's up and he hits it. Seth and Twan enter the game for Ange. For Ange and Dooney. Now Omari's coming into the game for Pat. Second shot, hits it. Now Twan with the ball between the legs. Gives it to Trey. Trey drives, finishes on the right side. Bengals up 12 now. Number one, Colby with the three, misses it short, rebounded by 15, blocked by Trey, puts up another shot, air balls it, rebounded by Amari. Twan trying to push it ahead, behind the back. He's getting double teamed, loses it a little bit, gets it back, gives it to Seth. Seth gives it to Trey at half court. 2.20 left. Trey sees an open lane, so he drives, but he loses the ball, stolen by Euclid. Now the Panthers are driving. Tip hit out of bounds by Trey. Kobe tried to find Duke on the back door cut, but Trey was right there all over it. They leave Kobe or Kobe open. Misses the three, though. Rebounded by 10. 10 puts up a fade. Misses it. Rebounded by Amari. Amari passes up court to Trey. Trey slowing it down. Trey gives it to Tuan. Tuan driving. Tuan goes up with the right. Misses it. Rebounded by Amari. Tipped around. Still, you or you has the ball now. Duke has it. Gives it to Kobe. Excuse me. Duke gets it back on the wing. Duke thought about a three, thought about another three. Now Kobe has it. Kobe driving on the right side, tries to go up the right finish, but he misses it and gets fouled in the act. Foul on 34, Amari Absol. That's his first team's fifth of the quarter. First shot is up and he misses it. Hayden entering the game for Amari. Second shot's up and he hits it. Euclid's been very efficient from the free throw line here in the first half. Getting a lot of opportunities and taking advantage of them. Without the free throws, Benny would be destroying Euclid right now. So free throws are keeping the Bengals in this game. Bengals need to limit the fouls a lot in the second half. Seven fouls here in just the first half. Twan inbounds it to Seth. Seth gives it to Trey. Trey driving on the right side. Seth and Trey run into each other. Trey loses the dribble, swings it across court to Twan. 1.13 left in the first half. Twan gives it to Seth. Seth has it. Seth driving, loses it, gets it back. Throws it right to Colby. Colby driving. And goes up with the right handed finish. Finishes it under a minute now left in the first half. Euclid within single digits now. Twan tried to get it to Hayden, but it's stolen by Euclid. Now here comes Euclid. Hop step number one. Colby with a right handed floater. Coach Lozer uses his first time out. Very frustrated with his team. Just like that, Euclid is within seven now with 43 seconds left to go in the first half. Here's some footage of the hockey game. Bengals trying to get their second Baron Cup. Bengals 
Jones inbound the ball. Twan picks up his dribble. 35 seconds left now. Twan has it at half court. Seth has it. Seth driving. Seth thought about it mid range. Gives it to Walker. Walker has it. Gives it to Twan. Twan cross. Gives it to Trey. Trey tries to drive. Goes up with the shot, but travels before the shot. Owen and Ant enter the game for Seth and Hayden. Under 10 seconds now. One pulls a deep three and he hits it. Colby Orr with the three. And that'll do it for the first half. Euclid e just crawled back into this game, being down 14, now only down four going into the half. Bagels need to make a lot of adjustments. We'll see you at the start of the second half.
now we're just about to get started here, second half. Euclid ball coming out, starting the third quarter. 11 with the ball, Bengals dropping the man coverage. Four has it, thought about a three. Swings at the corner, gets it back. This time, shoots the three, air balls it out of bounds. Bengals ball. Pat Lloyd comes to set Antoine's screen, but doesn't really use it. Crossover, trying to get his man off him. Hits Tegan on a cut. Tegan with the layup, misses it. Almost rebounded by Pat Lloyd. Rebounded by Euclid. Four has it. Swings it to 15. 15 has it up top. Zero has it. Duke with the mid-range, hits it. Now that brings the Panthers within two points now. Tegan has it on the wing. Tegan for three, drills it. Once again, Tegan Fischel with the three. 11 has it, crossover. Defended by Tuan, throws it away. Tried to get it to King Duke. Went through his arms. Bengals ball once again. Gives it to Tegan on the back door. Tegan fumbles it a little bit. Gives it to Padlow in the corner. Bengals reset the offense. 15 went for the steal. Tegan with a deep pull. Misses it in and out. Rebounded by Euclid. Euclid has it now. Nell with the ball. Nell defended by Tuan. Nell tries to spin, misses. Foul though. On the shot, foul on 25, Pat Lloyd. That'll be his third of the game. Bengals first of the quarter. Shot is up, misses it in and out. Here comes Amari entering for Pat Lloyd. Second shot is up. This time, rattles around and gets the bounce he's looking for. Tuan now has it for the Bengals. Tuan crossover. Gets it to Tegan. Tegan gives it to Trey on the dribble handoff. Trey tries to spin move, but he's ripped by number 11. Nell Harrison trying to go all the way. Gets fouled by Trey. A hard foul. Hit the ground pretty hard there. A little slow to get up. He'll be shooting two from the line. That's Trey's first foul of the game. Second team foul of the quarter. Now here comes Nell, first shot, hits it. Dooney's entering the game for Trey. Second shot, rattles around the rim, but falls. Tegan bounces it to Dooney, Panthers within two now. No one guarding Dooney, Dooney dumps it off to Amari. Amari misses the finish, rebounded by Euclid. Nell trying to pass it ahead, swings it to Duke in the corner. Duke trying to dump it to Kobe, and he does, and he finishes. Now Euclid ties the game up, 35-35. Juan has it. Now he gets ripped going up. Euclid has it, pushing it. Colby driving. Wild right-handed shot. Misses it. Rebounded by Antoine. Antoine Twan gives it to Dooney. Dooney tries to get to Amari. And then Twan was just, excuse me, Dooney was just wrapped all the way up there. Bengals ball out of bounds. Tegan inbound it. Tegan inbounds it to Dooney in the corner. Dooney swings it across court to Antoine. Excuse me. Twan swings it across court to Antoine Walker. Twan almost traveled, but gets it to Dooney. Dooney has it. 
trying to make something happen. Gives it to Tegan down low. Tegan one dribble. Twan gets it one dribble, pull up long. Two guys fighting for it. Twan hurt his ankle a bit down there and his elbow. Meanwhile, on the other end, King Duke with the right-handed finish. Twan's right elbow is hurt. He's not really even in the play. Amari driving, misses it. Rebounded by Euclid. Euclid pushing it now. Euro step gets blocked by Amari. Twan immediately coming out the game. They give it to 11 up top. Nell has it. Nell hop step. Stolen by. Oh, no. Foul. They call a foul on Dooney. So Nell will be shooting two from the line. First shot. Misses it short. Second shot. Rattles around and finishes it. Euclid up three now. And gets it at half court. And driving on the right side. Euro step almost does away, but Tegan has it in the corner. Tegan one dribble swings it to Dooney across court. Dooney gives it to Antoine. Antoine thought about her mage. Dooney with a really deep three. Doesn't matter. Dooney hits it, ties the game up now. Now Bengals back in that 2 3 zone. Stolen by Twan. No, never mind. Euclid comes back with it. Number one, Colby Orr went up with the finish but got fouled by Tegan Fischl. That'll be Tegan's second of the game, team's fourth of the quarter. This is the first shot. Second shot, hits it this time. Dooney gives it to Ange, Ange back to Dooney. Dooney dumps it down to Amari. Now Amari making a move, turn around floater, hits it. Now the Bengals are back in front, up 40 to 39 with 2.55 left in the third quarter. One driving, splits the double, King Duke. He got fouled though. None of the Bengals five agrees with that call, but they call it on, I'm not even sure who they call it on. They call it on Amari there, his second of the game, team's fifth, so Euclid will be in the bonus for the rest of the quarter. Colby Orr rattles around. Hits the first one. Here comes the second shot. Rattles around, misses it. Rebounded by Pat Lloyd. Now Dooney has it in the backcourt. Dooney swings it to Antoine. Antoine pump fakes, driving. Pull up mid-range, misses it long. Rebounded by Euclid. Colby has it, Colby's driving. Tries to get it down to two, stolen by Pat Lloyd. Gives it to Dooney, Dooney has one-on-one, -on -one, or excuse me, Twan has one-on-one, -on -one and he finishes on the right side. Antoine Walker with the bucket, Bengals up two. Euclid swinging it around. Levin has it in the corner, shoots a three, misses it short, rebounded by Ange. 
Ange has it behind the back, crossover. It's stolen, though, by 11. 11 gets it right back. Now they have numbers. And fouled hard by Ange, number zero, King Duke. Got smacked in the face. I think the officials are discussing whether it was a flagrant or not. But regardless, Nell will be shooting too. Or, excuse me, King will be shooting too. Two shots for Duke. First shot's up. It's the side of the backboard. Ange exits as, as well as Antoine Walker and Trey and Owen come in the game for the Bengals. Here's the second shot for Duke. Puts it up. Misses it off the back rim, but there was a free throw violation on number five of the Bengals, Chris Goldman. So he will get another chance. Here's Duke with another free throw. Misses off the back rim. This time it's rebounded by Euclid, and number 10 puts it up. Deion Russell puts it up, finishes it. And 15, Tayshawn. Tayshawn Hill is entering the game for the Panthers. Tie game now, 145 left in the third quarter. Trey has it on the wing. Trey driving, Euro step, puts it up, misses it. Rebounded by Euclid. 10 has it. 10 dumps it down to 15. 15 puts it up and finishes it. That's Tayshawn Hill to give the Panthers the lead back. Owen has it. Owen keeps the dribble, picks up his dribble now. Almost turned over. Saved by number two, I thought, but he was out of bounds, official says. So it'll remain Bengals ball. Timeout coach Lozier sees a lot of things he doesn't like. He'll be left with three in the game. You could still yet to use a timeout. Still with all five remaining. We give you a score update here on the Baron Cup game. Lex Hurd hit a goal to give the Bengals a two to one lead with about 9.30 left to go in the second period. Bengals are the three seed in this game as the Rocky Rocky River is the two seed. So Bengals bit on underdogs, but nothing they can't do. And we almost had a goal by the Bengals. Baron Cup semifinals. Bengal won, Bengals won their first Baron Cup in over 40 years last season trying to win it back-to-back. -back. Bengals looking for something bigger this year, trying to go for a state title. Failed to St. Ignatius last year in the state tournament after winning the Baron Cup. Inbound it to Twan in the backcourt. Twan has it, driving. Kicks it to Tegan. Tegan puts up a three. You already know he hits it. Tegan Fischl with another three-pointer in the corner to give the Bengals a lead. 11 has it on the wing, loses it, gets it back to cutting, stolen by Trey. Now the Bengals have numbers. Trey gives it to Twan, Twan puts it up, misses it though, stolen right back by Trey. Trey tries to get it to Owen. It'll be Euclid's ball with about 41 seconds left in the third.
30 seconds now. Swinging it around, trying to get the last shot. Ten seconds now. Cross, one has it. Picks up his dribble, traveled in the act though. Six seconds left in the third quarter. Three seconds, two seconds. Tuan with the D3 at the buzzer, and he hits it. Tuan Livingston with the bucket at the end of the third quarter to extend the Bengals' lead to four. with 13 fouls in the game, Euclid 11. A lot of contact in this game. Bengals ball coming out, starting the fourth quarter, trying to get their third win of the season. Antoine to enter it. He enters it to Pat Lloyd. Pat Lloyd gives it to Tegan down low. Tegan got fouled while going for the pass. Foul is on number 15 of Euclid, Tayshawn Hill. That'll be his fourth of the game. Team's first foul. Tayshawn exits. Pat Lloyd gets it in the corner. They said Pat was out of bounds. Here comes Euclid. Foul on Twan there. That'll be the Bengals' first foul of the fourth quarter. Score update for the Bengals hockey team. Bengals up 3-1 now on Rocky River in the Barron Cup semifinals. Looking to put it away. Meanwhile, Colby Orr just shot a deep three to bring the Panthers within one. Tuan has it, driving on the right side. Kick back to Trey. Trey picks up his dribble, tries to get it to Tegan, but it's stolen. Tuan racing back. Tuan, they call a foul on Tuan to Daryl Alkins, finishes through the contact to give the Panthers the lead. Excuse me, not the lead. Down one now. Or no. They don't have officially score, have it officially scored yet. They called it on the floor, so no bucket there. Just a foul. So Bengals still up one. One has it, shoots the deep three, misses it off the front rim, rebounded by Dooney. Dooney tries to go behind the back, but it's stolen by Darrell. Now Antoine with the steal, Amari driving. Amari going all the way, coast to coast. Right hand finish makes it. Timeout, Coach Lozier. Bengals up 50 to 47 now. 6.03 left to go in the game. Yeah. Bengals looking to pull away here. 3.30 left in the second period for the hockey game. And 
Rocky River just scored a goal to spring the score. Bengals up three to two now in the second period. The Bengals need this win, trying to go for a back-to-back -back Baron Cup. First time ever Bengals are looking to win back-to-back -back Baron Cups. Now the U.S. Euclid has it. 11 thought about a three, decides not to shoot it. This drive got tipped though. Finishes through an ac acrobatic shot. Hits it 11, Nell Harrison with the bucket. Trey has it, Trey between the legs. Gets ripped up top by number two. Two hop step, goes up with the right, misses it, rebounded by Trey. Trey hits the outlet to Dooney. Dooney has it, Dooney gives it to Amari. Omari driving, pulls it back. Step back three from Omari, air balls it. Pat Lloyd with the rebound, but it's stolen by number one, Kobe Orr. Turnovers are killing the Bengals here in the third, second half. Antoine with the rebound, now Dooney has it. Bengals have numbers, Trey driving. Trey with a wide open layup, and he hits it. Bengals up three now. Levin has it up top, he's driving, goes up with the right, misses it, rebounded by Euclid. Foul on Trayvon Stewart. That'll be the Bengals' third foul in the period, his second. Shooting to number four, James Lipscomb. First shot is up. Rattles in and out, misses it. Tegan and Twan are in the game for Antoine Livingston and Trayvon Stewart. Second shot is up, misses it in and out. Rebounded by Tegan. Now Twan has it. Twan gives it to Amari. Amari tries to run the ground, gets ripped. Pat Lloyd has it. Pat Lloyd goes up with it and gets fouled. Pat Lloyd with the free throw, air balls it. Timeout, Euclid. Bengals up three. thirsty for this Baron Cup win. Still up 3-2 are the Bengals. Still in the second period, just under a minute left. Bengals can't even seem to get it across the midline to get a chance of scoring a goal. Pat Lloyd here for the second free throw. Second shot's up, misses it in and out, rebounded by Amari. Amari gets blocked though. Here comes Euclid. One has it in the corner, puts up a three, misses it off the back rim. Rebounded by Euclid, gets the rebound, but he travels. Number two, Col or excuse me, Daryl Aiken enters the game for Euclid. 
Swan inbounds it to Dooney. Bengals up three with 4.25 left to go in the fourth quarter. Swan has it up top, trying to make something happen. Swings it to Dooney. Dooney between the legs. Dooney step back three, misses it off the left rim. Rebounded by Euclid. They call a foul in the backcourt on Swan. That'll be the Bengals' third foul of the fourth quarter. That's Twan's second foul of the game. Inbound, it's number 11. You could swing in around zero hop step. Duke with the finish, rattled around the rim. Now Panthers only down one. Almost threw it away there. Bengals retain possession. Tegan has it on the wing. Tegan with a deep three. Misses it in and out. Rebounded by Mari. Mari with the putback finish. Puts the Bengals lead back up to three. Bengals still in that 2-3 zone. Swing it to 11 in the corner. 11 almost stepped out of bounds. Four has it. Loses it. Now Duke has it in the corner. Daryl driving. Daryl goes up the right. Misses it. Rebounded by Amari. And it's hit out of bounds. Last touch by number one, Colby Orr of Euclid. Bengals ball up three with 3.21 left to go in the fourth quarter. Juan has it, gives it to Amari. Amari driving, no shot, but he did get fouled by number two, Daryl Alkins. Amari to inbound it. Gives it to Tegan on a roll. Tegan gets fouled, going up. He'll be shooting two from the line. Tegan with his first shot from the line, hits it. Makes it a two possession game. Tegan with the second shot, hits it again. Bengals up five now, 3.07 left. Colt Duke driving, he gets his own rebound after getting blocked, goes up the right, misses it, tipped by Amari. Amari gets it off a full court pass by Twan. Bengals back up seven. 2.40 left to go in the ball game. 11 driving, 10 has it. One with a deep three, Colby Orr with the deep shot for Euclid to bring him back within four. Now Twan has it, gives it to Tegan. Tegan gives it back to Twan, but it's stolen by number 11, Nell Harrison. Nell driving, trying to go coast to coast, gets fouled. And Tegan Fischel gets a tech. So Tegan picks up the foul, then gets a tech for saying something to the ref. That's Tegan's fourth foul of the game. Euclid shooting two shots for the technical, and then two more shots for being fouled. First shot, misses it off the front rim. Second shot, hits it this time, rattles around the rim. Antoine and Ange enter the game for Twan and Tegan. Now two more shots for Euclid. 
third shot's up, misses it short. Last shot for Euclid. Rattles around, misses it. That's big for the Bengals. You can left three points up on the board while they're down three, and they get the ball back. So Bengals catch a bit of a break there. Nell with the ball. Nell gives it to Colby. Colby gives it to Duke. Duke driving. Duke with the right-handed layup. Misses it, rebounded by Amari. Amari tries to get it to Dooney, but it was tipped and it was stolen, or saved, excuse me, by Euclid. Now Bengals have it across half court. Swings it to Antoine. Walker in the corner for three. Hits it now. Bengals up six. Duke with the, or excuse me, Colby with the ball. Hop step, right-handed floater, drills it. Now Bengals only up four, 61-57, 130 left to go in the game. Ange has it now. Ange driving on the left side, gives it to Amari. Amari thought about three, now he's driving, but he gets ripped. One-on-one -on -one for Nell. Nell and Dooney, Nell finishes on the right side. Bengals only up two now, with a minute 15 left in the game. Amari has it. Now he gets stolen. Colby trying to go, goes up the layup and finishes on the right side. Tie game now. Coach Lozier calls his second to last timeout with a minute two left, left to go here in the ball game. Turnovers have been killing the Bengals all year, but especially today. Turnovers have been the biggest problem. Just carelessly turning the ball over, letting Euclid come back into this game. If the Bengals just cut those turnovers in half, they can be up 10 now. Wouldn't even have to worry about this game being close. Now, Bengals have it. Euclid pressing though. Dooney with the ball fake. Gets it across half court. Amari gives him the screen. Dooney going coast to coast, misses the layup though. Euclid with the rebound. 50 seconds left in the game. He dumps it off to number five. Five misses the layup, rebounded by Amari. Now Twan has it. Twan swings it to Dooney in the corner. Twan puts up a deep three, hits only the backboard, but rebounded by Pat Lloyd. Antoine Walker has it, now swings it to Twan Livingston. And he gets fouled. Amari gets fouled. He'll be shooting two from the line. Amari shooting two shots. Here's his first shot. Hits it. Gives the Bengals a one-point lead. Second shot from Amari. Hits it again. Bengals up two now. Coach Lozier uses his final timeout of the game.
33 seconds left to go in the game. Euclid inbound it. Bengals going to full court press. Inbounds it to 11. Now Euclid has numbers. 11 goes up at the right, misses it, rebounded by Amari, and Amari gets fouled. 26 seconds left to go in the game. First free throw, hits it. Amari Afsal with some clutch free throws here towards the end of the game, hitting three straight to give the Bengals a three-point lead as Euclid coach Kevin Brooks calls his second timeout. Still has three left with 26 seconds left to go in the game. Twenty-six seconds now. Amari will be shooting one more free throw to try to push this to a two-possession game. Amari hits it again. Stents the lead to four now. Twenty-five seconds. Euclid has to get a shot off. One with the ball, defended by Tuan. Step back three, gets blocked, rebounded by Duke. Out of bounds, last touch by King Duke of the Euclid Panthers. Bengals ball with 15 seconds left. They inbound it to Tuan. Swan will be shooting two from the line as the Bengals are in the bonus. Hits the free throw. Tiga entering the game for Pat Lloyd. Juan with the second free throw, hits it again. Bengals up six with 14 seconds left. One driving, makes a move. Thought about a three, goes up with a wild floater. Kind of leaned into getting fouled there so he could stop the clock and get two shots. 5.2 left to go in the game. Fouls on duty, that's his second. Colby Orr will be getting two shots from the line. First shot is up, misses it off the back rim. Second shot is up, misses it again, rebounded by Amari. Amari gets fouled, three seconds left. Bengals up six with free throws to come. Bengals will be getting their third win of the season here against the Euclid Panthers at Truman Memorial Field House. It's a big win for the Bengals. They came into this game with the fight that they had against St. Ignatius. 
kept them in game kept them in the game against Ignatius, excuse me. And now, as you see, they can win even against good teams like the Euclid Panthers. Now Omari with the second free throw misses at this time. Two seconds, one second, and that'll do it. Bengals win their third game of the season now. All three wins are home games. Bengals win with a final score 68-61. Both teams with a lot of fouls in this game. Bengals with 20 and Euclid with 19. Both teams were in the bonus for a majority of the game. Bengals do need to work on that. That is one big thing. And Euclid got 10 more shots up, but missed two more, or missed two more. So the Bengals shot better from the field, won the rebound battle, and won the assist battle. So Bengals has played a very, very well all around game. Lost the turnover battle though. Bengals were turning it over left and right today. I know they can do better than that. Came out with a win though. That's all that matters, you win the game. And here come the JV Bengals. We'll be back for the start of the JV game. Thank you. Benedict and up four to three.
8.16 left. Benedict and up. 4 to 3. There you go. Oh! Luke Dixon almost on the rebound there. Under seven minutes. Oh. Oh. A bouncing puck. Nice save by the goalie there. 644, Benedict and up by one.
under four minutes. Welcome inside the Bengals Sports Network for tonight's JV basketball matchup between the visiting Euclid Panthers and the Benedictine Bengals. Just about ready to get the game out of the way. Still a couple minutes left. You can go back to hockey. I was just going to talk about the hockey. Bengals hockey in action. Second round of the Baron Cup. And they still lead 4-3 with just two minutes left to go. A great game for the Bengals hockey program after losing the Rocky River last time in overtime three to two. Rocky River making nice moves here. They're trying to get the equalizer and they, they almost did a good save there. Comes Lex Her. Now just one minute and 30 seconds left to go. That's about how much time is left to go here in the pregame. We're gonna try and hold out and get the finish of this hockey game. The Bengals, if they win, will advance to play in the, Bang the Baron Cup Championship tomorrow. Bengals trying to clear the buzzer rings. 56 seconds left to go of the pregame here from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Not quite sure how much time is still left from Brooklyn. But after a stoppage of play, we're going to have to bring you back here to Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. JV basketball after a great freshman victory. Kamari Carter, Tyree Williamson, Eli Ellis, Gio Ramos, and Jonathan Spikes starting for your Bengals. Ramos and Isaiah Southern to tip off. Euclid wins the tip off. And a foul before the shot, I believe. Fouls on Kamari Carter. Here's the inbound. Imante Jewell working on Tyree Williamson. 
Jewel driving, putting it up, missed. Rebound goes to Gio Ramos. Kamari Carter works into the forecourt. Out of bounds, last off. The Bengals. And ladies and gentlemen, the hockey team has defeated Rocky River. They're going to the Baron Cup Championship tomorrow. There's a foul. Benedictine, victorious. From John M. Coyne Rec Center in Brooklyn. And you love to see that, folks. So now that hockey is out of the way, let's focus on some basketball action. We've got JV at varsity to follow. Gio Ramos. Heads up top to Jonathan Spikes. Spikes over to Carter. Carter down low, Ellis. Ellis on the right wing goes over to Spikes. Spikes drives, makes a move, puts it up, kick and it's go. Rebounded by Ramos. Ramos puts it back up, miss. Still no score here from Benedictine. There's a cough, deep three missed. Rebounded by Kamari Carter. Carter up the floor, Ellis. Ellis fires a three. Can't get it to go. Rebound goes to Shomari Jones. Here's Amante Jewel. Williamson guarding him closely. Jaden Ferguson on the left wing. Drive, step back, three on the way. In and out, rebound goes to the Bengals. Tyree Williamson. Whips it driving all the way through the lane, hop step, puts it up, and gets fouled. I believe Tyree Williamson will be going to the line. Williamson's first is short. Second one on the way. He knocks this one down. The Bengals have a one nothing lead. Amante Jewel. Working on Williamson. Driving, putting it up, and gets it to go, 2-1. Here's Kamari Carter, Carter spinning, driving into the forecourt. Kamari Carter over the top pass to Ramos, couldn't grab a hold of it, Panthers ball. Thanks to all of you who joined us last night for wrestling senior night, the Bengals with two wins as that one's blocked by Ramos. Williamson jumper is good. Kamari Carter. Now Euclid driving, putting it up, missed. Rebounded by Spikes. Here is Williamson. Williamson driving. Kicks to Ellis. Ellis has space. He'll dump it off down low. Ramos had it blocked away. Ramos tries for a second chance opportunity. Can't get that one to go either. Now Amante Jewel will bring it up once again for Euclid. They take a 4-3 lead. Now here's Williamson. Williamson driving. Comes off down low, Ramos picked up by Jewel. Euclid throws it away. Christian Shorter will check back in.
Williamson. Over the top to Ellis. Ellis, step back, jumper. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Jones. Now here comes Jewel. Jewel, step back, three. Can't get it to go either. Euclid having trouble from beyond the arc. Here's Williamson. Off a shorter screen, step back, three from Williamson. Off the front iron. Rebound goes to Euclid. Jewel throws it up the court to Akoff. He'll drive. Kicks out to Ferguson. Ferguson retreats, goes back out. Jewel, three on the way. And he hits. 7-3. Timeout call by head coach Terry Williamson. That's a 30-second timeout. The Bengals first. And you heard that right. Benedict in hockey is going to the Baron Cup Championship. Looking for a championship in the Baron Cup for the second straight season. Allison bounds to Kamari Carter. Carter goes to Ellis. Ellis off a shorter screen, goes over to Spikes. Spikes to Carter on the right wing. Carter goes down with Spikes. And then goes throw it away once again. Ferguson into the forecourt. Three on the way now. Miss. Rebound goes to Shorter. Shorter kicks out. Carter and the Bengals will slow things down. Carter goes up top, Williamson. Williamson kicks over back, over back to Carter. Carter driving goes behind his back, flips it over to Williamson. Williamson back to Shorter. Shorter back to Williamson. Williamson on the left wing. Calls something out. Works off a shorter screen. Kicks the spikes in that corner. Back up top now, shorter. Shorter over to Carter on the left wing. Carter drives, kicks out shorter. A whistle and a foul on the play. Ramos and Raylo checking in for the Bengals. Here's Williamson spinning, goes down low, shorter, shorter, puts it up, puts it in, and he cuts the Panthers' lead to just two. Three on the way now. Can't get that to go. Rebound goes out to Jones. Back to Jones, now up top. No kick in the corner to Basie. Basie fires a three, and he hits. 10-5, Panthers' lead. 55 seconds left here in the first quarter. Williamson crossing into the forecourt. Williamson driving, kicks back out, lost the ball. Here's a cough. He drives to the basket. He lays it up and in. 12-5, Panthers lead. Shorter and bounce to Ellis. Ellis trapped. Working on the sideline goes Raylo. Raylo kicks in the corner. Williamson floater on the baseline, and he got it to go. 12-7. Here's Isaiah Southern. Southern kicks over to Ferguson. Ferguson on the left wing goes back up top to Shamari Jones. Now in the corner, Jewel had it knocked out of bounds.
Here's the inbound to Ferguson. Three on the way now from Jones. It's no good. Rebounded by Williamson. He chucks a full court heave. That is short. So 12-7 at the end of one. Here from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse in our JV matchup. Ready to get back in action from the field house. Ellis will inbound for Benedictin. Start of the second quarter. Williamson crossing into the forecourt. Back up top to Spikes. Here's Williamson. Williamson driving behind the back. Goes Spikes. Corner three. Can't get it to go. Rebound goes to Jaden Basie. Basie driving, kicks back out. Antoine Baker fires a three, missed. Rebound goes to Euclid. And Antoine Baker finishes, making it 14-7. Here's Ellis. Ellis makes a move, puts it up, and puts it in. Eli Ellis cuts the Euclid lead to, to five. Shamari Jones kicks in the corner. Here's McLynn. And a travel call on Antoine Baker. Here's Ellis. Ellis, backdoor pass, or cut from Williamson, pass from Ellis, and the Bengals are within three, 14-11. Here's Antoine Baker. Baker goes back up top to McLinn. Now here's Ferguson, over to Jones. Jones goes down low, tipped by Uchen and Joku. Baker to inbound. He gets it in to Basie. Stolen away by Njoku. Njoku will go the length of the floor for an easy layup. It rolls around up and in. Bengals within one. Jones goes up top to Ferguson. Back to Jones. Three on the way. Missed. Rebounded by Ramos. He hands off to Ellis. Ellis makes a move, crosses into the forecourt. Ellis kicks over to Williamson. Williamson. It'll be Panthers bit basketball. Here's Baker. Baker kicks over to McLinn. McLinn working on Ellis. Over to Ferguson. Ferguson kicks, three on the way. Bounces up, rebounded by Ramos. Almost, almost lost it. Bengals looking to tire, or excuse me, Bengals looking to take the lead. Ellis, nice moves. 
Hands off Njoku, has an open lane, puts it up, can't get the, he can't get the roll. Now, Ramos puts it up and gets fouled. Gio Ramos is going to the line for two shots. First free throws off. Here's Ramos's second. He misses them both. Now Jaden Basie goes corner three on the way, and he hits. Jaden Basie with a big shot for Euclid. Putting them up 17-13. Here's Ellis. Ellis making moves on Jones. Hands off. And Joku, Spike's able to grab it. Spike's driving, kicks out Carlton. Carlton drives baseline, kicks out Ellis. Ellis for three. He knocks it down. Eli Ellis. Counters the Euclid three, and it's a one-point game once again. Southern gives up top to Jones. Jones fires a three, can't get it to go. Rebound goes to Njoku, trying to pull it out of the hands of Cameron Williams. And a jump ball is called. The possession arrow shows Panthers. They impound, Jones driving, loses the ball, picked back up by Euclid. Here's Jones, he'll drive, kick back up top. Now over to Baker, back up top to Basie. Basie kicks over in the corner, a three on the way is no good. Rebound goes to Gio Ramos. The miss three by Isaiah Southern. Williamson floater, couldn't get it to go. Rebound goes to Antoine Baker. He's driving fast, kicks over. Layup miss. Rebounded by Ellis. Bengals crossing into the forecourt. Ellis driving on Baker. Able to pick it back up. Goes down low. Njoku, who will treat back out. Williamson on the left wing. Back up top, and Joku wasn't looking. He had an open shot, didn't take it. Shorter and Carter checking back in at the scorer's table. Williamson on the left side. Gives up top to Spikes. Spikes with nowhere to go. Has to retreat back to Williamson. Williamson driving with his right. Puts it up, blocked. Carter and Shorter checking back in. Full timeout called. Just one more home game remaining in the regular season. The playoff brackets come out on Sunday, I believe, for OHSA basketball. So we'll know who the Bengals will face in the first round. But one more game, it's next Friday. It'll be senior night against Cheney.
Bengals haven't led. Carter in inbound. He goes down with Spikes. Spikes puts it up. Looks like there was a foul. Didn't get called. Spikes grabs his own board. He'll drive baseline. Lost the ball. Foul called on Jaden Basie. Williamson hands off to Njoku. Njoku will drive, dump it off to Spikes. Now it's Carter up top. Kamari Carter spinning, kicks to Williamson. Williamson thought about a three. Now he'll hand off Carter. Carter behind the back, working on Baker. Goes back up top to Spikes. 1.33 to go. Three on the way from Williamson. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Goes to Christian Shorter. He retreats back up top. Here's Carter. Carter goes to Williamson. Williamson for three. Can't get it to go once again. Rebounded again by the Bengals. But he stepped on the line out of bounds. Here's Rico McLinn. Hands over. Now here's Jones. Jones driving, jumper. Off the back iron, rebound, goes to Shorter. Shorter gets it stolen away. Carter grabs it. Now here's Spikes. Spikes hands off Njoku, and Joku drives all the way basket. Puts it up, puts it in, and the Bengals have taken their first lead with just under a minute to go here in the first half. 18-17, Baker driving. Goes to the ground. And a jump ball is called. Possession arrow shows Bengals. It'll be Bengals ball. Shorter to inbound. Here's Carter. 40 seconds left. Carter on the left wing. Working on Baker. Bengals want the last shot. Carter up top, gets forced into the backcourt, and a foul is called. That's the Panthers' third. Bengals get it in Carter, 17 seconds left. Carter crossing into the forecourt. He has some space. Who drives, kicks down low spikes. 10 seconds left. Spikes goes out top, William. Uh, Williamson, excuse me. Williamson thought about three. Now he'll go down low. Njoku deflected by Euclid. Here's Baker. Throws up a heat from half court. Can't get it to go. We'll go to halftime. The Bengals lead the Euclid Panthers by a score of 18 to 17. We'll take a short break from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. We'll be back for the second half of action and our varsity game.
Welcome back inside Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Let's take a quick look at some of the first half statistics. Six fouls for Euclid compared to the Bengals one. That'll be crucial later on. Rebounds, the Bengals also dominating that category. The shooting has been fairly even so far, so. It's looking to be a good game going through. Obviously the Bengals with a one point lead. The Bengals haven't led by more than one all night, so. Shaping up to be a good second half of action. And then varsity to follow. Isaiah Southern to inbound for Euclid, and here we go. Second half of action underway. Imante Jewell hands off Jones for three. Perfect. Shamari Jones gives the Panthers the lead. Now here's Ellis. Ellis across half court. Guarded by Ferguson. Williamson on the left wing. Now he drives, floats up, airballed it. Rebounded by Ferguson. Here come the Panthers. That's out, last off. The refs don't even know. And the one ref was concerned about some photographers behind the basket. So I guess it'll be Bengals ball here. Ellis to inbound. Ellis goes in to Tyree Williamson. Williamson back to, Ma to Kamari Carter. Carter into the forecourt. Hands off Williamson. Williamson on the left wing. Off the spike screen. Goes to Ramos. Ramos on the right wing goes up to Carter. Now here's Spikes back to Ellis. Ellis off the spike screen. Drives, goes down low to Spikes. Spikes puts it up and gets it to go. We are tied at 20. Bengals working in a 2-3 zone. Stolen away by Spikes. All the way through the lane, puts it up, missed. Rebounded by Tyree Williamson. Bengals lead 22 to 20. Here's a cough. He gives over to Southern. Southern drives through, whistle, charge call. Jonathan Spikes taking the charge. Here's Carter. Carter goes to Williamson. Williamson on the left wing. Goes up top, Ramos. Ramos hands off to Ellis. Ellis for three. He knocks it down. Eli Ellis gives the Bengals a five point lead. Their largest of the night. Euclid almost lost it there on the inbound. Akoff goes over. Here's Jewel. Jewel back up top to Akoff. Akoff all the way over. Jewel for three. Barely hit the backboard. Out of bounds, last off the Panthers. Williamson inbounds to Carter. Carter spinning. Passes it up into the forecourt, Williamson. Williamson spinning. Goes back out to Ellis. Ellis will drive the baseline, gets it stripped. Here come the Panthers. A call, puts it up. Foul on Kamari Carter, he disagrees. Jalen Akoff at the line for Euclid. Christian Shorter checks back in for the Bengals. Hey. 
Second one on the way from Akoff. And he hits. 22-25, Bengals lead. Ellis gives to Spikes. Spikes working on Jones, lost the ball, picked up. Diving on the floor, Euclid's out of bounds, Bengals ball. Carter grabs it on the wild inbound. Kamari Carter driving all the way through the lane, putting it up. Wanted a foul, didn't get it. Spikes puts it back up. He gets fouled, so Jonathan Spikes is gonna go to the line for two free throws. The foul's on number two, Isaiah Southern. Second one on the way from Spikes. And he hits 26 22. Spikes hits one. Ferguson kicks over to a cough. A cough driving kicks back out. Ferguson. Ferguson thought about three. Ellis tightly guarding him. Now Ferguson works it back out. A cough driving. Drives baseline, has an open lane, puts it up, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Basie, he puts it back up. Finally, the Panthers get fouled. They're going to go to the line for two free throws. It's going to be Jalen Akoff at the line. First one's up, can't get it to go. Carlton Ray low back in for the Bengals. Carter and Spikes exit. Fleet goes up, can't get it to go. He misses them both. Rebounded by Shante Jones. Here's Ferguson driving, putting it up, putting, almost got it to go. Carlton grabs the rebound. Here he goes, fast pace, stops up, goes down low, Ray low, easy layup blocked by Jones. Here come the Panthers in transition. They came. Up the floor too fast. Ferguson up top now. Jewel and the Panthers reset. Chante Jones takes a deep three and hits. One point game, 26-25. Carlton to Njoku, back out Carlton. Carlton kicks in the corner, Rilo thought about a three. Now here's Carlton, up top Ellis. Ellis on the logo. Goes to Carlton, Carlton driving, jumps back. Bengals pick it up, Ellis over to Njoku, back to Carlton. Carlton will drive on the baseline, try to throw it out to Ellis. Ball got stripped, it'll be Bengals ball. More of a low scoring game here, but. Williamson inbound. Floats it all the way over the top to Njoku. Njoku kicks out Williamson for three. Can't get it to go. Panthers, fast pace in transition. Here's Jewel, he fires a three. Can't get it to go. Carlton gives to Williamson. Williamson driving, gives to Rilo. Williamson rips through, drives through the lane. Finger roll is good, and it's 28-25. Avante Jewell to Ferguson. Ferguson driving, putting it up, miss. Rebounded by Williamson. Here's Carlton. Carlton fast pace. 
Down low to Njoku, who puts it up and in. Bengals with some great momentum here. They have a five point lead. Timeout called, I believe. Excuse me, no timeout, no timeout. Just some substitutions. Okay, now there's a timeout. Timeout taken by the Panthers. Twenty-five Bengals leading. Taking a look at the line score, the first quarter, Euclid came out hot, then the exact opposite in the second. Then here in the third, been more even, but the Bengals winning two out of the three quarters, or two, three out of the four quarters so far. That's gonna help him win this game. It's all gonna come down to the fourth quarter here. Rico McLinn, guarded by Ray Lowe. Kicks out, thought, or now there is a three, and it is good from Jaden Ferguson. Here's Njoku, driving, kicking in the corner. Ray Lowe for three. Airballed it, rebounded by Ramos, got it stripped. Now the Panthers driving, putting it up, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Raylo. Carlton working it around, gives to Raylo. Bengals up only two now. Williamson up top. Just over a minute to go here in the third. Williamson driving, kicks out to Njoku. Now Williamson thought about a three, gives to Raylo. Raylo hands off to Williamson. Williamson over to Raylo. Ramos, jump ball called. Possession arrow shows Euclid. Just over 40 seconds left to go. Here comes jo uh, Jones. Jones almost lost it, picks it back up. Across the court to Ferguson, Ferguson driving. Floating it up, and he gets it to go. We're tied at 30 with 27 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Tyree Williamson into the forecourt. Driving. Goes out Carlton. Carlton thought about three. Now he'll drive. Spin move. Putting it up. Can't get it to go. Ramos grabs the rebound. Puts it back up and in. Bengals retake the lead. 32-30. Three seconds left, two seconds, three at the buzzer is no good. The Bengals will take a two point lead into the fourth quarter. They lead the Euclid Panthers 32 to 30. We've got a good one on our hands, folks.
All right, fourth quarter of action. Here we go. Bengals leading by two, 32-30. Eli Ellis to start things off. Here we go. Kamari Carter starts things off in the backcourt. Drives into the forecourt. Gives off to Ellis. That's last off the Panthers. Bengals ball. Ellison bounce to Carter. Carter working on his number counterpoint, a cough. Now here's Williamson on the left wing. Works on a, off a Ramos screen. Williamson with a floater, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Ramos. Bengals get it back. Ellis wide open three, and he got it to go. Eli Ellis makes it 35-30. Here's Jewel. Jewel kicks. Corner three on the way from Euclid is no good. Rebounded by Kamari Carter. Carter kicks out Ellis. Another three on the way. Can't get this one to go. Rolls around on the top. That's an out of bounds call for the Bengals with a quick start to the fourth quarter. And they lead here by five. Here's a cough. A cough working on Ellis. Floor to get up. Can't get it to go. Rebound goes to the Panthers. Almost stolen by Carter. Nice movement here from Euclid, and it finishes with a bucket from Jaden Basie. Here's Ellis. Spinning. Gets it back. Carter. Carter waiting. Now dumps off backdoor cut from Williamson. Try the reverse layup, can't get it to go. Second chance opportunity, also no good. Now over the top, here's J uh, Jones. Jones fakes a three, takes the three, hits a three. We're tied at 35. Spikes gives to Carter. Carter hands off to Spikes. Spikes driving, spinning, putting it up, putting it in. Jonathan Spikes gets the mid-range to go, and the Bengals retake the lead. Here's Jewel. To Ferguson. Ferguson step back, three blocked by Spikes. Spikes has some room here, but Carter's going to take it himself. Euro goes through the lane. Spikes able to get it back, now up top. Hands off to Ellis. Ellis on the flying B. Kicks to Carter. Carter has it knocked out of bounds. And Christian Shorter and Chen and Joku check back in with 419 left to go. Bengals up two. Bengals inbound, it's stolen away from Euclid. That's out of bounds, last off. Looked like it was last off, Eli Ellis. Referee says otherwise, so. Here's Ellis. Three, or excuse me, jumper on the way is no good. Ellis. Gives to Spikes. Spikes on the wing, goes to Shorter. Shorter on the free throw line. Gets it stolen away. Euclid, fast-paced bucket. We're tied at 37. Ellis makes a move, crosses into the forecourt. Gets fouled. There it is. Good finish for freshmen. Let's see if JV can follow with much of the same. Williamson through the lane, putting it up, putting it in. Great draw up play from Coach Terry. Behind the back, throws in the corner, three on the way from Euclid off the back iron, no good. Bouncing around, Euclid able to get it back. Ferguson floats it up, can't get it to go. Air pull, now shorter, 
to Spikes. Two on one for the Bengals. Spikes puts it up, puts it in. And the Bengals have taken a 41-37 lead. Here come the Panthers, putting it up, and they get it to go. I believe it was Isaiah Southern. Here's Ellis, working on a cough. Bengals having trouble getting it to the forecourt, and Coach Terry calls a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout. That's the Bengals' second. Both teams have three timeouts left to go. They might need them here down the stretch. The goal scored tonight for the Bengals in the Barron Cup semifinal win. Ben Trombetto had a goal, Lex Herr had a goal, Mason Rezepka had a goal, and so did Luke Dixon. The Bengals won 4-3, and they will advance to the Barron Cup championship game tomorrow at 12 p.m. from the John M. Coyne Rec Center in Brooklyn, Ohio. The Bengals going for their second straight Barron Cup championship. They had to take the trophy back today, but Leaving the spot in the trophy case open, hoping we get it back tomorrow. I think the opponent is still to be determined. We'll get you that update during varsity, but. No matter who it is, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a tough opponent. Ellis on the left wing. Goes to Njoku, who kicked it out of bounds. Here's Jewel on the right wing. Panthers with a chance to tie or take the lead. Jewel had it knocked out by Williamson. Panthers pick it back up. It's a cough. A cough driving baseline, kicking down low. Jewel puts it up. We're tied at 41. 2.30 left to go. Shorter. Almost lost it, picks it back up. Williamson. Williamson spinning, making nice moves here. 2.20 to go. Williamson on the right wing goes up top. Spike side of that three. Now he'll go over Ellis. Ellis on the left wing. Waiting. Ellis driving. To Shorter. Shorter spinning. Kicks back out Ellis. Ellis back up top. Williamson. Williamson driving with his right. Between the legs goes. Backdoor cut from Spikes and gets it to go. Bengals take a 43-41 lead with 1.50 to go here in regulation time. Jones driving with a left, puts it up. Can't get it to go, it rolls off. Panthers get it back. Now here's Jones again, now for three. Can't get that to go either. Bengals pick it up, Spikes. And Spikes can slow things down, he has some space here. Williamson, Bengals up two, looking to make it a two possession game. Williamson spinning, has an open lane, puts it up, puts it in, and gets fouled. Tyree Williamson's going to the line for a chance at a three point play. Ramos checking back in. Here's Rama, or excuse me, Williamson's one free throw, and it's good. Tyree Williamson completes the three-point play. Here come the Panthers now down five. Ferguson making a move on Njoku. He drives baseline, didn't go up with it, kicks back out. Panthers drive in the corner now, Jewel. Jewel driving on Williamson, spinning, putting it up off the glass, no. Rebounded by Njoku. Njoku looking for somewhere to go, he finds Ellis. 
Just over a minute to go, and Joker has an open lane. He goes all the way to the basket, laying it up, and laying it in. Bengals now have a seven point lead with just under a minute to go. Bengals performing really well down the stretch, and a blocking foul called on Tyree Williamson. He wanted a charge, I believe, but. Micah Towns checking in for Euclid. I don't think we've seen him in the game yet. Spikes checks in for Williamson. A cough inbounds, three on the way. King can it go, rebounded by Ellis. 45 seconds left. Euclid not fouling. Ellis goes to Spikes. Bengals taking some air out of the basketball here. Finally, Spikes does get fouled, but Euclid only has two fouls in the quarter. That'll be their third. Which means they still have some fouling to do if that's what the game plan is. Joku inbounds, stolen away by Euclid. Having trouble collecting it, they kick out three on the way, is good! Jalen Akoff knocks it down, timeout. Coach Lonnie Moore. Four point game with 26.5 to go. Spikes inbounds, throws it all the way over the top, and Joker comes down with it. Guarded by three guys, Euclid steals it away, and they get an easy bucket. It's a two-point game with 18 seconds left, and Euclid takes another timeout. They only have one remaining now. Looking at some of the statistics going in here to the final 18.2. Bengals leading here by two. Euclid way more fouls. 10 to three in that department. 34 rebounds, Bengals dominating that category. And the shooting, Bengals shooting a bit better here. From the field. The rebounds have been crucial. Here we go. 18.2 to go. Bengals lead the Panthers 48-46. Spikes to inbound. Running the baseline, gets it in. And Kamari Carter fouled immediately. The Bengals now on the bonus. That's the Panthers fifth. So Kamari Carter is going to the line for two free throws and the chance to make it a two possession game with 16.8 to go. First of two on the way.
and he can't get it to go. So no matter what happens, it's going to be a one possession game with 16 point eight left. Second one here on the way. And he gets it to go. That's huge timeout, Coach Terry. That's the Bengals third, and they have two remaining. For those of you just joining us, 49-46. The Bengals leading by three here with 16.8 to go in JV. We've got Varsity coming up next. The freshman already victorious here this evening. JV looking to follow in suit here. And the hockey team did take down Rocky River 4-3. They're headed to the Barron Cup Championship tomorrow afternoon. So JV here looking to keep the winning ways going, followed by Varsity. <laughs> Panthers inbound, down three, 15 seconds left. This is gonna be good, and Shorter gets called for a foul. It doesn't matter, that's only the Bengals' second of the quarter. I don't think they're going for the foul approach, make him shoot two free throws. Ferguson inbounds, he gets it in to Jewel. Jewel guarded very closely by Carlton, 12 seconds left, and Carlton gets called for a foul. So I guess the Bengals fouling here in case they need those fouls carry over later on. And a timeout is called by head coach Lonnie Moore. That's the Panthers' last timeout. The Bengals still with two. Quite a few timeouts lately. Here we go. First and inbound. 11.9 to go. Bengals leading by three. He gets it in. Jewel guarded closely by Carlton. Three on the way. Air balled. Out of bounds. Off the Panthers, Bengals ball with 5.8 to go. They lead by three. If you could foul, the Bengals just need to hit one free throw to seal it. Spikes, inbounds to Williamson. Williamson fouled immediately, 4.8 to go. Carlton and Joku and Ramos checking in at the scores table. If Williamson hits one, that should just about do it. Not enough time on the clock for Euclid to get two buckets after that. First one up, and he gets it to go. 50-46. Williamson with the second one coming. Can't get it to go. Three, two, one, heave, doesn't matter. Bengals win. The JV Bengals improve to nine and 10. And the JV Panthers fall 
to six and 10. What a win for JV. What a win for freshmen. Now Varsity looking to complete the program wide sweep coming up here next. We'll take a break from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. The JV Bengals victorious tonight by a final score of 50 to 46.
It's on. Welcome inside Truman Memorial Fieldhouse for tonight's varsity basketball matchup between the visiting Euclid Panthers and your Benedictine Bengals. The Bengals come into this game seven and 11. The Panthers four and 15. The Panthers won their last game last night over Shaker Heights. Before that, they had lost a bunch of games straight. I believe it's nine to be exact. They had a tough stretch. Bengals lost their last game, a tough one, to St. Ignatius. They come into this game looking to bounce back. Freshman and JV got to start it the right way. So it's looking to be good here in this varsity matchup. So the Bengals, we're going to take a look at the starting lineup here in a second. Now we're, gonna now we're gonna take a look at the starting lineup tonight for your Bengals. It's an interesting one. Jackson Stoltz, Bryce Mayteen, Matt Torres, Noah Whistler, and Damone Darman. No Chris Smith in the starting lineup. Which is interesting. We've not seen that all season. He's been in there for every game, but not today. Chris Smith not in the starting lineup. Instead, Stoltz and Mayteen back in there. And then Torres, Whistler, and Darmond. Torres we haven't seen in a minute in the starting lineup. Whistler and Darmond have been in there more recently too with Smith. But now Torres taking the spot of Smith. One fifty-two left to go here on our pregame clock. Thanks again for joining us. We've been live quite a bit lately here on the Bengals Sports Network. We had uh, the basketball program versus Ignatius on Wednesday, and then last night we had our wrestling senior night versus Crestwood and Trinity. A successful duel on both ends there. We had the wrestling team take down Trinity and Crestwood, and now we're here live. Freshman and JV got the win. We're looking for the program-wide sweep. The Bengals haven't won at home since January 13th when they took down Cleveland Central Catholic. It's been a rough time here at home. But they're looking to change things around today. So we are going to send things down to the floor to Bengals PA announcer, Mr. Matt Wilson, for tonight's starting lineup and introductions.
Let's meet the Panthers. Number 20, a five foot seven freshman, Antoine Bain. <clears throat> Number two, a six foot one junior, Ty Dunkin. Number zero, a six foot two senior, Rodney Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet our Bengals at guard, a five foot ten junior from St. Benedict's, number four, Jackson Stokes. At forward, a six foot three junior from Jesu, number twenty two, Noah Whistler. Forward, a six foot one junior from St. Thomas Aquinas, number 23, Damo Darman. At forward, a six foot four junior from Independence Middle School, number 24, Bryce Mateen. at the other guard, a 5'11 senior from NEO Prep, number three, Matthew Torres. The Bengals are coached by Mr. Chris Salati, is assisted by Mr. Brian McLaughlin, Francisco Santiago, Ron Friedel, Terry Williamson, and Tian Wynn. Your officials this evening, Mr. Frank Ficarelli, Mr. Michael Long, and Mr. Victor Jackson. All right, let's do it. Varsity basketball from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Noah Whistler to tip it off. He's faced off with Anthony Moore. This is gonna be a good one. Here we go, Euclid Panthers, Benedicted Bengals. Underway from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Panthers win the tip off. Antoine Baker hands off. Now here up top is Harrison. Harrison driving, kicking back out. Over to Duncan, Duncan for three, and it's good. What a start for the Panthers. Three nothing lead. Stoltz, cross court pass to Mateen, almost. Threw it into the crowd. Now here's Darman, Darman up top, kicks back out Torres. Torres thought about a three, now he'll drive, lost the ball. Picked up by the Panthers. Slow start for the Bengals. Here's Baker. Lost the ball, tipped, Bengals basketball. Torres inbounds to Stoltz. Bengals are gonna get on the board. Stoltz gives to Torres. Torres on the right wing. Goes to the elbow and Darman who threw it away. Here's Baker. Anthony Moore driving, kicking out. Three on the way from Smith. Off, rebounded by Whistler. Here's Stoltz. 
Here's Torres now. Back up top, Stoltz. Stoltz over to Maytien. Maytien driving with his left. All the way through the lane, putting it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound goes to the Panthers. Anthony Moore. Here's Baker, the freshman. Left wing, deep three from the Panthers off the back iron. Rebound goes to Bryce Maytien. Stoltz on the near side. Goes over the right wing. Stoltz in to Darman who traveled. And Darman had a lane. He could have taken it in himself. Here's Baker. He gives over to Smith. Now it's Davis down low. Puts it up on Stoltz and scores. 5 0 early Panthers lead. Torres to inbound, finally gets it into Mateen. Back to Torres. Mateen, Bengals finally into the forecourt, but they throw it away. Now Smith gives to Moore. Now in the corner, floater no good from Baker. Stoltz into the forecourt, gives to Torres. Torres to Mateen for three. Can't get it to go off the back iron. Rebounded by Anthony Moore. Here's Baker. Baker into the forecourt. To Davis. Davis working on Stoltz. Powers in. Now a three on the way. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Noah Whistler. Stoltz will bring it up for the Bengals. Yet to get on the board. Stoltz on the left wing. Gives over to Torres. Torres to Whistler. Lost the ball. Picked up by the Panthers. Anthony Moore. Slowing things down for Euclid. Driving came out to Duncan. Duncan driving, putting it up. Can't get it to go. Panthers get their own rebound. Three on the way. Perfect. Seven, or excuse me, eight nothing. Panthers lead early on. And a timeout called by Coach Salata. Coming up at Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Only one game left. It's the Bengals taking on Cheney on senior night next Friday to wrap up the regular season here at home. The playoff brackets come out on Sunday for OHSAA. So we're hoping we have a home playoff game that we can bring to you live, but. Smith to inbound, he's in the game now, gives to Pomian. Pomian over the top, threw it away, try to give it to Bird. Corner three on the way from Euclid. Can't get it to go, rebounded by Chris Smith. Smith into the forecourt, gives to Pomian. Tommy and threw it away again. And an easy bucket for Rodney Smith. Pomian gives to Bird. Bird back to Pomian. Pomian to Smith who gives to Seals. Seals back to Smith. Bengals break the press. Stoltz checking back in for Benedictin. Bird gives to Pomian. Pomian to Bird. Bird down low. Smith makes a nice move, puts it up in the Bengals, are on the board, 10-2. They've got some work to do here after a slow start. Antoine Baker goes down low. Back out, driving all the way through, putting it up, putting it in. Michael Davis puts the Panthers back up by 10. Pomian with trouble getting it in. Bengals can't break this press right now and they throw it away once again. Horns out there with Stoltz, Bird, Seals, and Smith now. Pomian exits. Here's Baker driving, floating it up, and scoring once again. Stoltz. 
Driving with his left, goes up to Seal. Seals has a lane, doesn't take it, goes out Horn for three. He knocks it down, banks it in, and it's 14-5. Panthers throw it over the top, Baker. Back out to Davis. Davis driving, kicking out to Moore. Moore driving, floating up, floating it in. And a charge is called. Smith taking the charge. Stoltz to Bird. Back up to Smith. Bird and Smith going back and forth now in the middle. Seals threw it away. Bird trying to get it back, can't do so. Here come the Panthers. Putting it up, missed. Rebounded by Chris Smith. Smith hands off to Bird. Bird all the way over the top, Smith. Smith thought about a three, barely stayed in bounds. Gotta watch it over there on the sideline. Stoltz gives to Bird, Bird to Horn. Horn back out to Bird, Bird driving through, kicking the corner, Stoltz fires a three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Davis. Here come the Panthers in transition. Dumps it off down low, stone over the Bengals. And Stoltz tries to throw it out, uh, out of bounds. He tries to throw it off of the Panthers out of bounds, but instead throws it off Chris Smith. Darman checks back in, this time for Seals. Panthers inbound to Baker. Here's Davis. Over to Duncan. Now it's Smith. Smith over to Moore. Moore driving through, putting it up, blocked by Darman. Out of bounds, last off the Bengals. Davis to inbound. He finds Baker. Baker in the corner, brings it back out, now to Moore. Now Baker down on the baseline, back in the corner. Looking it around, goes to Moore. Moore turns around, fires a shot, missed, rebounded by Smith. Smith spinning, picks it back up, close to the half court line, and the Bengals keep throwing the ball away. Now a three on the way from Euclid, perfect. And they've taken a 17-5 lead here with just under a minute to go in the first quarter. Smith gives to Stoltz. Stoltz back out. Smith catches his breath, goes to Bird. 45 seconds left. Bird dumps off to Stoltz. Stoltz back to Bird. Bird driving through, blocked. Out of bounds, last off the Panthers. Smith to inbound, goes over the top to Stoltz. Stoltz, middle, Smith, out to Darman in the corner. Darman gives to Horn. Horn almost threw it back court. Angles get it back, Horn in the corner, 27 seconds left. Back out top, Smith. Smith working on Baker. Smith fires a three. He knocks it down. Chris Smith with a much needed shot for Benedictine. Now Davis goes to a wide open Panther. Bengals able to grab the rebound. There's a tie up and at the buzzer, Euclid scores. 19-8 at the end of the first quarter. Bengals have some work to do. They keep throwing the ball away, having trouble breaking the Panthers press.
Here we go, ready to start the second half. Or excuse me, the second quarter. 19-8, Panthers lead your Bengals. Bengals are gonna start off with the basketball. It's the starting five out there. Torres, Stoltz, Mateen, Darman, and Whistler. Torres gets it into Stoltz. The Panthers started the game off up 10-0. Mateen goes down low. Whistler puts it up, gets fouled. So the Bengals are gonna go to the line here for two. It's gonna be Noah Whistler. The foul's on Michael Davis. First free throws of the game here. And Whistler can't get it to go. Second one on the way. And he hits. Bengals trailing here by 10. Got to keep up the defense here. Davis, double teamed. Now it's Moore. Moore driving, kicking in the corner, wide open three for Baker. Can't get it to go. Bengals can't get their rebound, and the second chance opportunity is good for Euclid. Torres, trapped, gives to Stoltz. Stoltz over to Mateen. Mateen into the forecourt. Driving through. Mateen for three. Can't get it to go. Duncan, now over to Moore. Moore up top, Baker lost the ball on the floor. Baker still gets it and floats it up. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Jackson Stoltz. Stoltz to Whistler. Whistler out to Stoltz. Mateen deep three, off. Baker driving through, kicking out, corner three on the way. Can't get to go, but the Bengals give up another second chance opportunity in which they commit a foul, and now Euclid will have two free throws for Michael Davis. Fouls on Mateen, his first, team's first. Free throws off. Interesting free throw for him. He stands like halfway through that crescent where the shooter stands. If he was standing up further, he would have made the free throw. Smith and Bird checking back in. Bengals trail here by 12. Second free throw on the way. He hits the second. 13 point lead for the Panthers. Stoltz trapped, has nowhere to go, throws it. And finally a foul called on the Panthers. Bengals again just cannot beat this press. Fouls on Rodney Smith, that's the Panthers second of the quarter, that's Smith's first. Smith to inbound, finds Stoltz. Stoltz avoids getting trapped to Bird. Bengals with a two on one. Whistler takes it, puts it up, puts it in. Noah Whistler cuts the Panthers' lead to 11. Here's Moore. Knocked over Darman, but the Bengals steal it away. Stoltz rips through, gives to Bird. Bird trying to go down low to Whistler. And a traveling violation is called on Mikael Bird. Michael Davis inbounds to Smith. He gives back to Davis. Davis over the top to Smith. Now in the corner. Down low Moore. Moore spinning, putting it up. Can't get it to go. Darman grabs the board. Gives to Stoltz. Stoltz up the floor to Smith. Smith shovels it over the top. Bird for three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Whistler. Whistler gives to Bird. 
Put it on the left wing. Goes over to Stoltz. Stoltz to Smith in the corner. Bagel's moving the ball a lot better here. Smith for three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Ty Duncan. Here's Baker. Timeout called by Euclid head coach Justin Dobbins. Purchase tickets for upcoming events. That only event is the Cheney game as the hockey team is headed to the Parent Cup in the OHSA playoffs and wrestling is done at Truman Fieldhouse. But for our next event or all spring sports events, it's $8 online or 10 at the gate for adults and then $5 for Benedictine students or the, all students. No refunds or exchanges unless the Event is canceled or postponed. Tickets are required for all students and adults at events where tickets are sold and no outside food or drinks are permitted in Benedictine facilities. Ty Duncan to inbound. Gives in to Baker, back to Duncan. Duncan goes in the middle, dribbled off of Horn's foot. It'll be Panthers basketball. Panthers up 11, they inbound over the top to Anthony Moore. Moore driving, kicking in the corner. Thought about a three, now back out to Moore. Stolen away, Stoltz will go all the way to the basket, putting it up, can't get it to go. Now Baker, and a foul on Davis. And the bucket, now a chance for a three point play. Bengals got to finish on the other end. Free throw is good. Interesting to note, last season these two teams faced off at Euclid. The Panthers won 64-62 in overtime. It's not looking like it's going to be a similar result right now. As another Bad pass stolen away by Euclid. They're gonna easily drive to the basket, float it up. Bengals have trouble getting the rebound, but they come down with it. Smith into the forecourt. Smith, Euro puts it up, puts it in. Chris Smith, nicely done. Mikel Bird has to exit limping, so. Seals and Maytine are in now. They get it in to Baker. Baker into the forecourt. Over the top, blocked away by Stoltz. Stoltz gets to Seals. Seals over to Horn. Horn on the left wing, back over to Smith. Smith, wide open, down low. Nemo seals, puts it up, puts it in. And the Bengals have got it within 10. They're gaining some momentum here and making some better passes. Baker almost threw it away. Mateen deflected it, picked back up by Euclid. Now here's Harrison. Three on the way, and they get it to go. Ty Duncan. Seals is trapped, gives to Stoltz. Stoltz with nowhere to go. And the ball's ripped out, jump ball called. Possession arrow shows Panthers. Here's Baker. Baker kicks over to Harrison. Now it's Davis. Three on the way from Duncan. In and out, almost got another one to go. Foul on Darian Davis. That's his first. 
and a team's third. Stoltz. Here's Smith into the forecourt, over the top, Mateen. Mateen in the corner, and he just threw it away. And Duncan will go easily to the basket. Stoltz throws it away. Baker driving down low. Stoltz stepped on the line. Torres checks back in for the Bengals. Along with Bird. So there's a foul on Davis. Bengals will inbound. Here's Bird to Smith, back to Bird. Bird back to Smith. Smith fakes the pass to Bird, goes to Torres. Torres trying to go to the middle. The Bengals throw the ball away once again. It was deflected out of bounds by the Panthers, so it'll be Bengals basketball. Smith to inbound. He gets it all the way into Torres for three. Off the front iron, rebounded by the Bengals. On the floor, Torres picks it up, goes out. Horn, three on the way. Banks off the glass, no good. Foul called on Seals. Here's a cough. We saw him in JV. Anthony Moore driving on Horn, jumper, can't get it to go. Rebound goes to Davis, kicks out Duncan. Now a cough driving, almost deflected away by Smith. Panthers drive baseline, put it up, can't get it to go. Bengals tip it out of bounds. They got to limit the Panthers on these second chance opportunities. Get it in, three on the way, no good. Rebounded by Smith. Smith on the right wing, goes up top. Macau Bird, Bird back to Smith. Smith in the corner, Torres, thought about a three now. Throws it away, picked up by Duncan. He'll drive all the way to the basket. And I believe a foul is called on Matt Torres. Yes, indeed. Ty Duncan at the line for two free throws. Hits the first. Them both. Stoltz goes to Bird, back to Stoltz. Stoltz waiting, goes back to Bird. Bengals have had so much trouble getting into the forecourt tonight. And another deflection by Euclid. Bengals ball. Torres to inbound. He goes to Bird. Bird gives to Whistler. Now it's Torres. Torres driving, kicking out to Whistler. Whistler down low. Torres finishes. Here's a call. Stops up, goes over to Moore. Now a corner three from Duncan is perfect. Perfect. 
Stoltz to Torres, back to Stoltz. Torres goes up to Bird. Bird on the right wing. Goes over to Torres. Torres drives, takes a jumper. Can't get anything to go right now. That's out of bounds last off the Panthers. Stoltz inbounds to Darman. Darman had some space, now he kicks out Whistler. Whistler throws it away. A cough, drives all the way to the basket. Can't get the roll. Euclid finishes on yet another second chance opportunity and they now lead by 20. Bird dumps off. Torres, corner three from Whistler. And he knocks it down. Noah Whistler hits from beyond the arc, trying to claw his Bengals back in here. Duncan takes a deep three, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Stoltz. Seven seconds left, six, five, Stoltz, four, three. Stoltz just throws it. And that's the end of the first half here from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. The Bengals trailing by 17. Not at all what was expected coming in. The Bengals have some work to do here in the second half. So we'll take a break from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. We'll be back for the second half of action.
back from halftime from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Bit of a rough first half for the Bengals, but not out of it yet, 37 to 20. A bit off topic, just had a beacon burger from the concession stand. Definitely gets a positive rating for me. They do a nice job here at Benedictine for the concession stand during basketball games, so. Bengals are gonna bounce back here in the second half. The issue that they had was passing the ball. I mean, they just threw it away so many times. They couldn't, you know, get out of that Euclid press. One minute left to go here in halftime. Not out of it yet. If the Bengals can come out hot to start this half and then get some momentum. Horn to start things off for Benedictine. On a brighter note right now, both freshman and JV won, and so did the hockey team in the semifinals of the Parent Cup from Brooklyn today. They'll advance to play, mentor in the championship game, trying to take the title once again as John Horn hits from mid-range. Bengals looking for their second straight Baron Cup this year. So please support tomorrow at noon against mentor John M. Coinwright Center in Brooklyn. Foul called. Fouls on Darman, but Darman is down. Here comes Devon Aaron and Coach Salata. An injury to Darman is the last thing that the Bengals need right now with Meek Black already out. Darman being a crucial piece of this team. He's sitting up. Catching his breath. And he stands up on his own power. Limping a little bit. Hopefully we'll see him re-enter here. But Whistler replaces him for the time being. Two free throws coming for Rodney Smith. First of two is good. Second one on the way, off the front iron, rebounded by John Horn. Here's Stoltz. Stoltz into the forecourt. He gives to Smith. Smith fakes a pass to Bird, now he'll go to Bird. Bird dumps off to Stoltz. Stoltz works it out. Gives to Bird. Bird gives to Smith in the corner, back out to Bird. Bird driving with his left, puts it up off the glass. Too much power on that one. Panthers grab the rebound. Here they go in transition. Handing it off, finishing easily is Michael Davis. Stoltz is to Bird. Bird driving, working on Davis. Kicks in the corner, Smith for three. Can't get it to go. That was Horn, excuse me. Put a whistle on the play. Thank you. 
Foul on Euclid's number zero, Rodney Smith. So the Bengals learn bounce. Smith goes to Horn for three. Can't get it to go. Bengals have not been shooting too hot from beyond the arc. Three on the way on the other end is perfect. Antoine Baker. Stoltz loses the ball. Timeout taken by the Bengals. Smith to inbound. Finally finds Bird. Bird lost the ball immediately. Now Euclid almost finishes. Rebound goes to Whistler. Now Smith, fast pacing transition, drives all the way through the lane, puts it up, puts it in. And Chris Smith is going to have a chance for a three point play here. Fouls on Rodney Smith. So Chris Smith is at the line for one shot now. Here come the Panthers after Smith made his one free throw. Deep three on the way, swish. Ty Duncan does not miss tonight. Baker lost the ball. Picked up by Bird. Here come the Bengals. Hand off to Whistler. Easy layup. And we have a whistle and a foul. It's on Anthony Moore to be Bengals ball. That's the Panthers third already here in the third quarter. Smith to inbound, he goes to Métis. Back to Smith, Smith over the top to Bird, almost stepped out. That's been the issue for the Bengals here so far is the bad passing. And Horn gets stripped, here come the Panthers fast pace the other way. Three and away from Duncan, can't get it go. Rebounded by Smith. Just over five minutes left here in the third quarter. Smith on the left wing. Goes to Bird. Bird thought about a three. He shovels it over to Mateen. Back out Smith on the wing. Takes a three. Rattles out. Rebounded by Whistler who puts it up, puts it in. Noah Whistler controlling the glass down low. Here's Baker, stops up, goes over to Moore. Moore on the right wing, working on Whistler. Drives in with his left, kicks out, three and away. Swish. Michael Davis. Extends the Panthers' lead to 31. Or excuse me, 21. Horn goes to Bird. Bird gets knocked around, Moore takes it. Now a three from Baker. Swish. Pan Panther's not missing right now. He's Baker stepped on the line there, so it'll be 
Panthers get the ball back once again. Duncan on the left wing, working on Métis. Drives in, takes a jumper, perfect. Timeout called by Coach Salata. Not much you can do there, except stop giving the Panthers the basketball back. They won't miss right now. Smith to inbound. He goes to Torres. Now it's Mateen. Mateen into the forecourt. Mateen goes to Whistler. Whistler drives, puts it up. He gets fouled. And Noah Whistler will go to the line for two free throws. Whistler's first of two. He gets it to go. Second one on the way, he hits them both. Eighteen fouls, and now Rodney Smith will be at the line. First one rolls in. Gio Ramos is checking in for Whistler. Second one on the way is good. He hits them both. 56-31, Panthers lead. Torres goes to the middle. Mateen lost the ball, picked up by the Panthers. Driving all the way to the basket, tipped away. Torres picks it up, foul on the Panthers. Everybody rolling around, ball rolling around, finally. Euclid fouls on Michael Davis. It's his third already. That's the fifth of the quarter for Euclid, so Mateen will shoot two bonus free throws. The first one is good. Second one on the way. Can't get it to go. Here comes Davis. Davis over to Baker. Back to Davis up top. Davis driving with his left, puts it up. Darman fell to the ground. Out of bounds, last off. The Bengals. Euclid inbounds, easy bucket for Ty Duncan. Ramos to Smith. Smith spinning, runs into another Euclid defender. They pick it up, Torres able to corral it. Goes to Métis, Métis fires. Can't get it to go, rebounded by Ramos. Ramos puts it up and puts it in. Here's Moore on the left wing. Goes up top to Smith. Smith driving. 
travel call. Issue with the floor, it'll be wiped up here. Smith. It bounced to Darman. Darman over the top to Smith. Smith to Torres. Torres back to Chris Smith. Smith driving through, gives Torres, fakes, gives a three. Rebounded by Ramos, he gets fouled. Gio Ramos goes to the line. First of two, rattles out. Tyree Williamson checking in for Benedictine. Second one on the way from Ramos, he missed them both. Euclid picks it up, here they go. Moore, jump stop. Jumper, no good. Rebounded by Ramos. He goes to Smith, almost threw it over his head. Smith on the right wing, drives through the lane with his left, putting it up off the glass and scoring. 58-36. Meanwhile, on the other end, Moore driving, puts up and it's blocked by Damone Darman. Darman goes over the top to Métis. Bengals finally picking up some momentum. Williamson on the right wing, goes over to Mateen. Mateen driving, goes all the way over to Smith. Smith picks it up, takes a jumper, and gets it to go. Bengals now down 20. Baker gives to Duncan. Duncan driving all the way through and putting up off the glass and scoring. Mateen has nowhere to go. Finally gets it into Williamson. Williamson trapped, goes up to Darman. Darman goes to Ramos. Ramos, backcourt violation. A foul was called on the push into the backcourt. So Ramos will go back to the line now for two free throws. First on the way from Ramos. Off. Second one. Misses again. Ramos has had so much trouble with the free throws in this one. Moore gives to Baker. Baker off the Moore screen. Hands off to Davis. Now a three on the way from Baker. No good. Rebounded by... It was last off the Bengals there, so... Euclid basketball. Harrison, three on the way from uh, Baker. No good. Rebounded by Ramos. Ramos gives off to Kamari Carter. Carter goes up to Williamson, back to Carter up top. Carter to Williamson, Williamson to Smith. Smith fires a three. He knocks it down. Baker, into the four court. Foul, foul called on Tyree Williamson.
are the Panthers. Kicking out to Davis. Davis will drive, put it up, can't get it to go. Second chance opportunity for Duncan is in. Carter gives to Williamson. Williamson driving, 12 seconds left, tipped out of bounds. 10.7 to go. Smith to inbound. Goes all the way up top, Carter. Nine seconds left, Williamson for three. He knocks it down, Tyree Williamson. Half court heave, almost got it to go at the end of the third quarter. Bengals with a tough deficit, heading, in, heading into the fourth, they trail by 18. It's Euclid, 62, Benedictine, 44. Just two timeouts left to go for the Bengals, four for the Panthers. Panthers will start with the basketball. Harrison to inbound. Tyrion Harrison gets it into Baker. Williamson steals it away. He'll go all the way to the basket. Tyree Williamson getting the job done. The freshman. Now Baker. Gives off, Harrison, shovel pass. Stepped on the baseline, Bengals ball. Smith. Goes to Williamson, Williamson lost it, picked up. Smith diving on the ground. Duncan gets it, slams it home for the Panthers. Bengals pick it up. Williamson goes over the top to Smith. Smith driving now with his left. Darman gets it, lays it up, lays it in. Wide open down low, Domon Darman finishes. Now here's Duncan on the left wing. Duncan driving, whistle called. An offensive foul on the Panthers, I believe. Yeah, it's on number two, Ty Duncan. Excuse me, the foul's on Antoine Baker. So he'll exit now. Smith will inbound for Benedict in 7.02. Left to go here in the fourth quarter. Angles down 16. If they can get some shots to fall here, maybe they can make this interesting down the stretch. Williamson gives to Smith, back to Williamson. Williamson in the point guard position. Gives over the top Smith, Smith almost lost it. Back to Williamson, Williamson up top, driving with his right, floating it up, putting it in, Tyree Williamson. Here's Moore. He gives over to Akoff. Now, Duncan on the right wing takes a deep three off. Rebound goes to Smith. Smith throws it off of the Panthers player. Bengals basketball. They're down 14 here. Don't count them out just yet. They get it into Stoltz. Stoltz to Williamson. Williamson driving. 
That's a, he stepped on the line, so that's a two. It doesn't matter. Rebounded by Euclid. Here come the Panthers. Deep three and away from Duncan. Swish. Stoltz lost the basketball. Dives on the ground, picks it back up, gives to Williamson. Williamson crosses in the full court. Smith wide open in the corner, takes a three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Horn. Horn putting it up, putting it in. John Horn using his size to his advantage. Bengals down 15, 5.40 to go. Here's a cough. Deep three in the way from Duncan. Panthers get their rebound. Second chance opportunity down the way. Picked up by the Bengals. Here's Stoltz. Stoltz in the middle and Darman. Darman travel. checks back in for Benedictin. He's out there with Smith, Carter, Darman, and Stoltz. Euclid the inbound, 524 to go. Duncan for three. In and out, almost got another one to fall. Carter. Gives to Stoltz. Stoltz in the corner to Smith. Smith dribbles out, takes a jumper. Can't get it to go, rebounded by Stoltz. Stays with it. Stoltz will fire a three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Ramos. Puts it back up. Oh, he missed the layup. Euclid saves it. Almost stepped on the line. Here comes Moore. And a charge is called. Damon Darman taking the charge. Timeout taken by the Panthers. Bengals with a much better fourth quarter. Right now, the leading scorer on the floor, they, there's three on the floor with two. No more than that. Meanwhile, Ty Duncan has 36 points for the Panthers. Absolutely carrying right now. That's more than half the Panthers' points tonight. Unbelievable. Michael Davis also has 10. Torres gets it into Ramos and he lost the ball. Smith re-entering, Torres exits. He's uh, out there with Stoltz, Darman, Ramos, and Carter. Panthers get it into a cough. A cough on the right wing. Working on Kamari Carter. He's driving with his left. Stops up, almost lost the ball. Stoltz comes out of nowhere. Knocks it out. Tries to put it up, goes to Smith. He couldn't grab it. Picked up by the Panthers. Here's Duncan going to the basket and scoring. Ramos not getting it in, and he throws it away. Put up, fouled by Ramos. And Duncan's going to the line to add to his point total. Oh. 
first of two is good. Ty Duncan now with 39 points. Smith, the leading scorer for the Bengals, was 17. And there's Duncan's 40th. Ty Duncan with 40 points on the night. Unbelievable. Ramos goes to Darman, who slams it home. Domo Darman put some energy back in the field house. Duncan. Guarded closely by Darman. Duncan driving, putting it up. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by. Anthony Moore, excuse me there. Panthers extend their lead. Now Darman gives it to Smith. Smith puts it up, puts it in. Chris Smith. Bengals doing so much better here. It's unfortunate they couldn't have played this tight the whole way. Just a really bad start to the first quarter. We've seen that lately a lot from the Bengals. Moore driving, getting fouled by Darman. So Anthony Moore's going to the line for two free throws. Free throws up, and it is good. Horn and Williamson re-entering for Benedictine. Panthers up, 18. Moore makes it 19. Smith then bounce to Carter. Carter back to Smith. Smith almost lost it. Goes back to Carter. Carter trapped. Goes to Williamson. Williamson up to Darman. Darman to Horn, who has an easy layup. Goaltending called. The points will count. So it's 58-75. Stoltz re-entering for Benedictine. He's out there with Horn, Carter, Darman, and Smith. Panthers inbound, stolen away by Kamari Carter. Throws it off the Panthers, but they're able to get it back. There they go in transition. Down low, Moore puts it up, blocked by Darman, but gets fouled, and he's very frustrated with the call. Fouls on Darman. Anthony Moore at the line for Euclid. First free throw is good. Ramos checking back in for Benedictine. He hits the second one. 77-58, Bengals lead. Or excuse me, Euclid leads. Horn goes out to Carter. Carter throws it away. Deflected out of bounds by Anthony Moore. Williamson re-entering for Benedictine. Both freshmen on this varsity roster are out on the floor right now. And Ty Duncan exits after a 40 point effort for the Panthers. Carter works off a horn screen, gives in the corner to Williamson. Lost his dribble, now has to give out back to Carter. Carter gets fouled by Jalen McCoff. Three. 
Damone Darman re-entering. Ramos exits. Williamson gets it in to Horn. Back to Williamson. Here's Smith. Smith driving through the lane with his left. Puts it up high off the glass. A blocking foul called on the Panthers. Jackson Stoltz checking in at the table. Correction, Jackson Stoltz was, it appears, trying to walk something off. Fouls on Davis. Smith at the line. First one is off. Al Ramos and Stoltz check back in. Second free throw is good. So now, here come the Panthers. Moore, up top, guarded by Ramos. On the right wing. Driving through, taking a jumper, no good. Rebounded by Darman. Darman, through to Smith. Chris Smith steps back, hands off to Carter. Carter driving, putting it up, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Ramos, puts it up, gets fouled. Gio Ramos is gonna go to the line once again. Fouls on Moore, he now has four. The Panthers now have five, so the Bengals are on the bonus. Ramos's free throw is off. So Shamari Jones played time in JV, and then Demetrius Brantley and Darian Davis checking in for Euclid as well. We have not seen Brantley yet. Free throw is off. Ramos continuing to miss free throws. Now here's Imante Jewell. Deep three on the way from Shomari Jones is off. Rolling around on the ground, picked up, jump ball. Possession arrow shows Bengals, so it'll be Benedict in basketball with 147 left to go. Here's Stoltz on the right wing. Dumps it off to Carter. Carter all the way over to Smith. Deep three. Off the front iron. Rebounded by Davis. Now here comes Akaw floating it up and scoring. Carter goes to Smith. Smith driving through. Step back jumper. Scores. Timeout Bengals. Emerson White has checked in, so we'll see him out off the timeout. It's a full timeout for the Bengals. We'd like to give a big welcome to the class of 2028. They received their admissions packages earlier this week. I personally was a part of the team that went out to deliver them. Very excited to welcome them in next year. our president, Mr. Dave Schroeder, in the front row on alumni night here for the basketball program. Emerson White enters. He's out there with Smith, Stoltz, Carter, and Darman. Here's Jewel. He gives it over to a cough. Now a three on the way is off from Brantley. Rolls out of bounds, last off the Panthers. 105 to go. Pomian and Williamson checking back in. Smith and Stoltz exit.
Here's Carter, he gives to Pomney, and Pomney back to Carter. Carter driving, kicks in the corner, Williamson, three on the way. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Jewell. Imante Jewell driving, kicking down low, Brantley, Brantley putting it up and putting it in. Carter on the right wing, 37 seconds left, goes to White. White kicks out to Pomian for three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Akoff. Akoff driving to the basket, putting it up, gets fouled. By Carter. Ramos checking back in at the scorer's table. Jalen Akoff at the line for her. Two free throws. 20 point, you could lead. Euclid will win their second straight game. The Bengals will fall once again here at home. Darman exits now. Second free throw's off. Rebound goes to the Panthers. Out of bounds, last off the Bengals, Ramos. 25.8 to go. You put up 21. They inbound, working it around now. A cough goes over to Brantley. Brantley on the left wing. 19 seconds left. Emerson White gets up in Brantley's face. Jones tried to go to Brantley. Now Davis tried to dunk it home. Pomian lost the ball. Picks it back up. Tried to go to Williamson. Two seconds left. Brantley at the buzzer, unable to do anything, and that's going to do it tonight from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. The final score, the Euclid Panthers, 82, your Benedictine Bengals, 61. We'd like to thank everybody on our crew here tonight. Directing and switching, Brian Devers and Will Lloyd, as well as John Queener. Scoring graphics, Matthew Lloyd. And our cameramen, John Queener, Teddy Johnson, Will Milan, Johan Serrano, Nate Queener. And Brian Nurse. With that being said, please come out to support the hockey team tomorrow at the John M. Coyne Rec Center. It will be streamed live by Sports on Tap on YouTube. So head on over there. And then 12 o'clock tomorrow, they will play Mentor for the Baron Cup Championship. And then we will be live once again for Basketball Senior Night next Friday against Cheney. So until then, this is Patrick Lloyd saying so long, everybody. Go Bengals.